Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim and this is my first intro video for a project pan this year. I'm really excited slash nervous and I hope everything goes well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wanted to explain what this project is about. It's called the Advent Calendar Project Pan. It was created by Ellen and I loved the idea for this project. So I did by myself a glossy box advent calendar this year. I absolutely loved it. There were tons of products in here and I did open it all. Like, well, I, I started off opening them up until about the 13th or 14th daily. And then I just couldn't help myself and I knew I wanted to film this for next year. So I ended up opening the rest of them. And then what you're supposed to do is um, fill each box, one through 25, with 25 different products that you want to try to pan throughout the year. Then you pick, um, the so for this video, I rolled in my random number generator five different numbers. And these are the five products that I'm going to choose out of my advent calendar to start panning for the year. These five products I will use until my goal is hit or until they're panned, and then I'll roll other products in as necessary. So come January, I will film and show you the progress on the products. And then if I finish one or two or three or five, I will pick a new one and then pick it out of this advent calendar. If you don't have an advent calendar, you don't need one. Um, I do know that there's other people like Paula from the Fantastic Ladies um, that is doing this project. And what she did was she wrote on slips of paper, 25 different products. She would roll her numbers or pick it out of a bag randomly. And those would be the products that she would roll in. So you don't need to have an advent calendar, but if you have one, it's a great way to use it year after year and get use out of it. So let me go and open up the five products that I'm going to start to pan for the year. So the first number is number four. Now I gotta figure out where that is. So there's four different drawers here. Oh, here it is, number four. So number four is, oh, we got some lips. We got some lippies. back in so I don't mess this up. So I have the Ulta Beauty Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mauve. Okay, and this is a deluxe sample. And my goal is to use it up by the end of the year. We'll see what happens. And then I have a glossy or a Fenty Gloss Bomb in Cake Shake. This was one of the products that came in the gift set this year from Sephora. So these two are for my first prompt. Super excited. I really love the Fenty Gloss Bombs and I just, that was my first set that I ever bought, bought from them. Um, it's the first time I've ever used the Fenty Gloss Bomb and I just love it. The pigment and the fact that it's not sticky or gross, I just love that. And I can wear it even if I wear a mask and it doesn't get all over my face. It's just a really nice product. So number 23 and number 24 are my next two. So let's see, 23 and 24. Okay, so here's 23. Oh boy, okay, so Milk Makeup, this is my highlighter. I did try to pan this this year, or it was part of my Project 10 uses this year. And here is a swatch of that. This is the Milk Makeup Highlighter in Turnt. And I really, really liked this. Um, you can tap it on, you can tap it at your inner lid um, or inner corner. You can use it um, on your lips as like a, a covering, which I really like that. So that's number 23. Number 24, I need to find that one. one I haven't tried yet. So number 24 is the Hourglass 
Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I have not tried this yet, so I'm really excited to try this as a setting powder. I'm trying to use up two other ones this year that are full-sized. One's on its last legs that I tried panning this past year and didn't quite get there. Remember, I don't wear makeup every day, but um, excited to try this. And I, there's another one in this advent calendar as well. I had two of these, so I split them up. So we'll see. I hope I'm not panning them at the same time. Um, and then 12 and 19 are the last two props. So it's not in there. 12... Are they both in the last drawer? Oh my gosh, look at this. Right next to each other, 12 and 19. These are my last two numbers. So number 12. Number 12, another Ulta Beauty deluxe size sample. This is the Ultra Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Plum. So really pretty color. This, this is also a nice lip gloss. Um, it is a little bit more pigmented, so you have to be careful. Like if I, I wouldn't put a mask over it, it would smear and slide. But even it's nice to wear around the house if you are throwing something on or you wanna go to the store or something. Well, I guess not to the store because you won't be able to see your lips through the mask anyway. But anyway, it is a nice gloss. And then number 19. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, another Fenty gloss bomb. I have all my Fenty gloss bombs in here. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. So you will be seeing these, but this is in the shade Taffy Tees. So another one. And I really like that color as well. So let me swatch. We have Taffy Tees, which is right there. Next, we have the Ulta Beauty Lip Gloss in Plum, which is the second one right here. Then we have the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb and Cake Shake, which is right there. And then we have the Ulta Beauty Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Mauve. I thought it said nude for a minute, but I was like, that's not what I remember. So it's mauve. And then, last but not least, we have the Milk Highlighter Stick in the shade Turnt. So there you can see that. Okay, so these are the first five products that I'm gonna start off with. Come January, I will film another video letting you know how much progress I've made on the pro pro uh, products. I'm gonna weigh them, measure them, whatever, and I'll let you know in January what they started with and then where I am at at that point. And then if we need to roll in another product, we'll go back to the calendar. So hopefully within this year, I'll get all 25 products done out of my collection. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a good one. I'm still buried under snow. But until next time, have a good night. Bye.